Winston covering Boomtown tonight in the city of Oviedo, where on Tuesday voters will decide who will be their mayor. The number one issue in this campaign is growth. And on that, Austin, Oviedo's population has grown more than 50 percent in the last 20 years. News 6's Boomtown reporter Nadine Yanis shows us how it's impacting the three-way race for mayor. My name is Megan Sladek. I'm the mayor of Oviedo. I'm Kevin Hypes. I'm running for mayor of Oviedo. My name is Abe Lopez. I'm a candidate for mayor for this great city, Oviedo. All three mayoral candidates were asked the same question. What do you think is the single most important issue in this campaign? And all three had the same answer. It's probably going to be traffic and second place is growth. So growth... It's kind of a combination of traffic and growth, and they kind of go together. Uncontrolled growth, development, development, development. Important, as the census shows, Oviedo has grown in population by 52% in the last 20 years, from a population of about 26,000 people to now more than 40,000 in a city that spans about 17 miles. We are not allowed to not except new residents. Born and raised in Oviedo, current mayor Megan Sladek wanting to finish the city's comprehensive plan for future growth. It will in part require new apartments to have its first floor commercial only. That's what she says is happening at this complex under construction on Mitchell Hammock. 19% of trips that are taken in cars inside Oviedo city limits are two miles or less. 19%. That is a way to start thinking about traffic and getting people from point A to point B without it all being road dependent. It's also not far from the Oviedo Mall. Well, we want to put the growth in here. This is 90 acres. We can put 400 apartments here. This is going to be 400 apartments here. Where its development director and candidate Kevin Hypes, also former Sanford commissioner and eight-year Oviedo resident, wants to make the mall mixed use, bringing in apartments with retail and restaurants. By 417, it serves a two purpose. You put the, the growth where you want it, it's great for commuters, and it fixes your mall at the same time. It just makes a lot of sense. And the third candidate is Abe Lopez, here in Oviedo for only about three years, but with a fresh take, he says. My plan is let's execute the plans that we've been talking about in this town for the last 15 years. Running on a platform that's community focused, he says, adding the trust has been broken in regards to growth. I want to uh, serve as someone who is not running to tell the community this is what we're going to build. And this is what we're going to do because we've had enough of that. When those developers come with those opportunities to invest in the community, we serve as a bridge connecting the residents to those developers so that the final product we have is community focused. All three making their final pitch before polls open. It has been an honor serving as your mayor and I would uh, love the opportunity to continue serving you. I'll tell you this, with me sitting on the city side of the table negotiating with developers, they get nothing past me. I'd be honored uh, to serve you, your family, uh, whether or not you vote for me. So early voting starts here in Oviedo on Saturday and then residents head to the polls on Tuesday. Covering Boomtown in Oviedo, I'm Nadine Yanis getting results new six. Thank you, Nadine. To read more about the candidates and their plans to manage the growth in Oviedo, just search for this story on clickorlando.com boomtown.